The Windrush generation are seen as those Caribbeans who came to Britain between 1948 to 1971. But what about the children and grandchildren of those economic migrants who came to Britain in search of a better life? This story is about migration of African Caribbeans who were invited to Britain in 1948 by the government and came to settle in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. It's about their tears, laughter, hopes, aspirations and fears bringing to light the challenges of navigating race and defining multiple identities in the celebration of their heritage, tradition, rituals, faith and culture. We hear, authentically, the voices of those economic migrants from the Caribbean and their children. They came with a suitcase or, you know, they came with their, their uh, little possessions um, and they came with a dream and they came with a vision. Uh, and there was the, there was the five year plan to work your money and then you're away for five years. My cousin said to me, are you hungry? And I said, yes. And we went to a fish and chip shop up at Woodhouse Hill. And the fish and chips was in the newspaper, just like how we were taught. We were told that it was like when we're in Jamaica. We've been here so long. Years gone by when we were having all sorts of obstruction and what we were standing for, you know, and we this and we had it. I got fish and chips. Guess what? I didn't know that you were to put the vinegar and the salt on it. <laughs> the first carnival was in 1957. 1957, when I just come to Huddersfield. I'm eating the fish and chips like that. And I'm like, oh my word, why this not taste good at all? <laughs> And this was because I'm accustomed to the Jamaican way. No job for black. That is the one that hurt. My parents didn't, certainly didn't like it, but there was very little my parents could do about it. You know, it was keep your head down, you know, do what you can, but there were no one to turn to. My parents couldn't go and talk with anybody. I couldn't go and talk with anybody. I don't think we have learned to process that pain. A struggle for freedom, a celebration of courage and resilience in spite of explicit structural and institutional discrimination. We learn how they navigated their way into British society and how the Huddersfield African Caribbean community remains resolute, determined and moving forward. Um, for many, um, they stayed and um, had children uh, and they they achieve their, their goals through their children.